Now let's solve this. 33 and one third percent of 48 plus 12 and one half percent of 96 minus 44 and 49 per percent of 27. Pose ito ni Ms. Cherry Ann Torres Reyes at sagutin natin yung tanong na kung paano naging one third ang 33 and one third percent at paano naging one eight ang 12 and one half percent at paano naging 4 9 ang 44 and 4 over 9 percent. First of all, before natin ito makompute itong equation na ito, isa-isahin muna natin kung paano mag-convert o mag-cancel ng percentage or yung percent sign. Percent means per 100 at ito yung value na yan. Example, 50% means 50 per 100. And this is equals to 0.5. Ngayon, doon tayo sa, nandito yung 33. Isa-isahin natin. Si 33 and 1 third percent. Ito, Mix numbers ito kasi mayroon tayong whole number at fraction. Gawin natin siyang improper fraction. 33 times 3 equals 99 plus 1. This is 100 over 3 percent. 100 over 3 percent para makancel itong percent sign, i-divide natin ng 100%. Kapag mag-divide tayo ng fraction, lahat ng mga whole number na to mayroon niyang 1 as denominator. Ngayon, kopyahin itong 100 over 3%. Ang division maging multiplication at reciprocal nito ay 1, 1 over 100%. Itong percent sign na to Itong 100 over 3 percent divided by itong percent, makancel out na yan siya. Wala na ang percent. Ngayon, ito na lang. 100 times 1 equals 100. 3 times 100 equals 300. 100 over 300, pariho lang yan kasi. Cancel out lang natin yung dalawang zero. That is the same as 1 third. Therefore, ang 33 and 1 third percent is equivalent to 1 third na wala na yung percent. Para mas lalong maintindihan, gawa tayo ng iba. Ganito yan. Remember, yung 50 percent ay 50 over 100 yan siya per 100. Ngayon, dito tayo sa 100 over 3 percent, that means 100 over 3 per 100. Per 100. Pariho lang yan. 50 divided by 100, ito yan. Tapos ito, 100 over 3 divided by 100. Yan. So, gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, reciprocal dito ay 1 over 100, ito naman ay one, kopyahin lang, 100 over 3, at ito maging multiplication. So, i-cancel out mo lang yung dalawang 100 na yan. Ang sagot dyan ay 1 third. Again, 3 and 1 third percent ay equivalent na ng 1 third. Therefore, 33 and 1 third percent ay equivalent ng 1 third. Next. 12 and 1 half percent. 12 and 1 half percent, paano siya naging 1 eight. Again, 12 and 1 half is the same as 12.5 percent. Mag-move ka lang ng dalawang decimal to the left side at i-cancel out mo yung percent sign mo. This is equivalent to 0.125. 0.125 is also the same as 125 over 1,000. 
at ilist mo yan, that is equals to 1.8. Consider this as our solution number 1 para i-convert itong 12 and 1 half percent to 1.8. Another way of solving this. I-delete muna natin ito. I-convert natin itong 12 and 1 half, itong mixed number na ito into improper fraction. 12 times 2 equals 24. 24 plus 1 equals 25. So this is 25 over 2 percent. Again, para makancel out ang percent na yan, i-divide natin ng 100 percent. So wala na si percent sign. Kopyahin si 25 over 2. Yung division maging multiplication at reciprocal ni 100 ay 1 over 100. Itong 25 over 2 times 1 over 100, 100 there are two ways of solving this. It, it's either ito ang i-multiply mo. This is 25 over 200. That is 1 over 8. Or, i-list mo yan siya. 25 divided by 25, that is 1. So, 100 divided by 25, that is 4. 1 times 1 equals 1. 2 times 4 equals 8. Therefore, see, 12 and 1 half percent is equivalent to 1, 8. So, see, 12 and 1 half percent are equivalent to 1, 8. Now, do na naman tayo sa... 44 and 49 percent. 44 and 4 over 9 percent. Paano naging 4 over 9 na lang? Gawin ulit natin itong improper fraction. 44 times 9 equals 396 plus 4 equals 400 over 9 percent. Para makancel out itong percent sign natin, i-divide natin ng 100% cancel out si percent sign. Yan na lang ang natira. Kopyahin itong 400 over 9. Si division maging multiplication, reciprocal ni 100 ay 1 over 100. Again, there are two ways of solving this. Pwede mo siyang i-cancel out lang. 400 over 100, that is 4. At maging 1 na yan siya. Or 400 at saka si 100, i-cancel out mo lang yung dawang 0 na yan. 4 times 1 equals 4. 9 times 1 equals 9. So, ang sagot dito or ang equivalent ng 44 and 4 over 9 percent is equivalent to 4 over 9. Yan na yan siya. Para mas lalong maintindihan, gawa pa tayo ng iba pang examples kasi itong mga ganito, lumabas din ito sa mga exams nyo, lalo na sa civil service exam. One half percent. This is the same as 0.5 percent. Hindi siya pareho sa 50 percent. This is 0.5 percent. Pero kung one half lang, that is equals to 0.5 lang or 50%. Iba yun. Magkaiba siya ito. May percent sign. Ito wala siyang percent sign. So, kung ang one half may percent sign, that is equivalent to 0.5% or 0.005. Yung walang percent. Kasi kung mag-cancel out tayo ng percent, isn't it that... We will only move the decimal place to the right, uh, to the left side twice at i-cancel out yung percent sign. Again, dito tayo sa 0.5%. I-move mo lang yung decimal ni, decimal ni 0.5. 1, 2. So, lagyan mo ng dalawang zero. Kaya naging 0.005. Cancel out mo si percent sign. Unlike yung 50%, magkaiba yung 0.5% sa 50%. Whole number man yan si 50, si 0.5 ay less than 1. Unlike itong 50% na ito, 50%. So si decimal, i-move mo to the left side twice. 1, 2. Kaya naging 0.5 na lang. So intindihin nyo, 
itong one half percent ay magkaiba sa 50 percent. Now, let's go back to the question. Ito equation na nandito. 33 and one third percent of multiplication yan siya, 48. Plus, 12 and one half percent of multiplication yan siya, 96. Plus, 44 and four ninth percent of multiplication yan siya, of 27. This is equals to one third. So, one third times 48 or one third of 48, that is 16. Next, 12 and one half percent, that is equivalent to one eight times itong 96. So, one eight, oh, 96 pala yan, 96. One eight of 96 is equivalent to 12. Next, 44 and 4 over 9 percent, that is 4 over 9, times 27. So, 4 over 9 times 27, that is equivalent to 12. Based sa order of operation, unahin muna natin yung mga multiplication. Bago tayo mag-add, itong addition at subtraction. Subtraction pala ito. Delete, delete, delete. This is subtraction. So, meron tayong addition at subtraction. So, this is addition and subtraction. This one is addition and subtraction. Now, shortcut para ma-solve ito. 16 plus 12 minus 12. It cancel out mo lang yung plus 12 at minus 12. And the answer is 16. Otherwise, kung gusto mong mag-add mo na, 16 plus 12 equals 28 minus 12 is still 16. So, ang sagot dito ay letter B, 16. 